Welcome back guys, Smurfy back for round one with Grixis Shadow. Uh, unfortunately Modo crashed, but I had a opening hand of no, um, I was just seven spells, so no land. So that was a mulligan. Um, we're now on six, and we don't have a blue source with, uh, only one land as well, so I think we're just going to mulligan this as well. And hopefully get a good, uh, five. Sure, we'll keep this. And a shadow on top, which is actually pretty good. So we're just going to, first of all, just cycle to get the death shadow and we're gonna get a blue black land and we can either inquisition here or serum visions I think we would rather inquisition this turn yeah we're gonna inquisition this turn So it looks like we're against this, uh, the mirror. So they've got Death Shadow, Stubborn Denial, Thought Scour, and a uh, Street Wraith, and then three lands. So I, we can either take the Death Shadow or the Stubborn Denial, the main two cards I'm interested in taking. I think we're just going to take the Death Shadow though. Just because, uh, I guess we don't really need to. So they can do three, six, seven, eight. So turn two, they can death shadow. Yeah, we're going to get rid of the death shadow then, and we'll just pass the turn back. So if they went fetch shock um, with the Pluto delta, and then next turn they went fetch shock with the Pluto delta and cycle the tree wraith, they'll go down to twelve life, which means their death shadow would be a one one on um, turn two. And we just don't really have an answer to death shadow yet, so I think we just have to take it so we don't die to it too quickly. I don't think we're going to be able to grind our opponent out just because we mulligan twice. So. I'm, hope, I'm hoping we can just get our Death Shadow down and try and use our Stubborn Denial to uh, get our opponent dead as quickly as possible. The difference was if we Serum Visions that turn, we could have dug for a second land, so next turn we would be it would be easier to uh, cast two spells in one turn, because we would draw before we scry, so next turn we're going to draw for turn and then draw a card from Serum Visions. So we've only got two draws, or uh, we only get to look at two cards to get our, th our second land drop, whereas if we Serum Visions turn one, we could scry two to the bottom if we needed to. And then we draw for turn and draw from the Serum Vision, so we would have actually looked four cards deep. Uh, unfortunately, we drew a Swamp anyway, though. Uh, so we're just going to cast... Um, well, I guess we actually should play the Swamp first, so they can't Stubborn Denial our Serum Visions. Yeah. Thought Scour and another Death Shadow. So we've drawn the Street Wraith, which is really good. So we can go down to 13, so we only need to take one more damage and we can play our Death Shadows. I think we're just going to put that on the bottom, keep the Death Shadow on top and try and kill our opponent as quickly as possible. So we're going to cycle this. And pass the turn. We could have kept the uh, the Death Shadow on top of our deck instead of cycling the Street Race. So if our opponent inquisitions us, they don't know that the second Death Shadow is on top of our deck. But we've seen their hand, so I think it's fairly unlikely. And they Thought Scoured, and they flipped over a Blood Crypt and a Tassiga. So we've... They've used one Plague Delta, we've seen the Street Wraith, and the Thought Scour is gone. So now we're just looking for a fetch land. If we can draw a fetch land, then we can go uh, uh, Death Shadow, Death Shadow with Stubborn Denial back up. Unfortunately, if we do draw a fetch land, we will only go down to 10, so these won't trigger the Ferocious. Looks like our opponent is just digging for cards. Really nice to be, it'd be really nice to draw a shock. No, okay. Alright, well we're going to Thought Scour first. Just to look for land and things like that. Just something to do. Alright, perfect. So just going to play both of them out. There's no reason to hold one back, I don't think. Like, very few people play Engineered Explosives main deck, especially in a Grixis Shadow deck. And they don't play any board wipes, so I don't see any reason to keep up one in our hand. 
I don't really think we could be overextending into anything. Alright, our opponent can now play their own Death Shadow. Are they going to Colligan's Command, kill one of these, bring back a creature? Colligan's Command killing one of our Death Shadows would be really strong here. Yeah, they could. Uh, what did they bring back? Tassiga. Okay. Alright, so we now have Summon Denial online. I think we're just going to fetch Shock now just so we can get the extra damage in with our Death Shadow. And we don't need an extra red source, so we'll just get Watery Grave. And our Death Shadow is now bigger than the Tassiga, which is obviously very important. So next turn they can play their own Tassiga, but we can just attack into their Tassiga and we're threatening lethal, so things are looking really good. The problem is they do have a Stubborn Denial when we know that they have a Stubborn Denial and with Tassiga, then obviously they can they can use it with Ferocious and we have our own, so with our opponent and seven cards in hand, we're hoping to just kill them as quickly as possible at this point because we are not gonna be able to win any sort of counter war. The Colligan's Command getting a two for one with the our mulligan to the our mulligan or two mulligans, sorry, just, just mean that it's pretty difficult to uh, keep up on card advantage and obviously mulligans happen but you just have to play accordingly like if you're two cards behind and you're in like a control or control style matchup you have to take that into consideration uh, so they're going to make us discard a card and they're re going to return death shadow so we might as well just stop them out if we're going to uh, discard it anyway And they're doing this during their main phase. So if they don't have another land here, then they just die, which looks like they don't. Okay, sweet. So yeah, like although this deck or this matchup is quite attritiony, sometimes you just like stick a death shadow and you kill your opponent. I was trying using things like um, bringing in in my old days, I used to play an extra Colligan's Command in my sideboard and some Planeswalkers, and I would bring all of these in in like this kind of matchup. And occasionally, someone would just like play a death shadow. And I'd be stuck with like a Colligan's Command and a Liliana in my hand. Whereas my opponent's just got like a Death Shadow in play and like they're much more mana efficient. So it was really hard to keep up. So I've actually found that the deck, the matchup is a lot quicker than it looks sometimes. So I think we do want the extra Stubborn Denial and maybe the extra Dispels. And maybe the Dread Bore as well. The reason I really like Dread Bore in this matchup is because we basically have like eight threats. We have four Death Shadows. Two Tassigat and two Gurmag Angler. Those are like the main eight threats that all the Grixis uh, decks play. And unfortunately, Fatal Push does not hit 50% of those, which is why I think Dreadbore is actually pretty good in this matchup compared to Fatal Push. Because Fatal Push kills only four of their creatures, whereas I guess it kills the Snapcast Mages, but they're not really that relevant. It's more the Tasker and Gurmag Angler that we can't Fatal Push. So I really like bringing in Dreadbore as well. Um, cards I don't mind taking out are. Uh, Inquisition is fine, but late game it can just be really bad top deck, so I don't mind taking that out. It is obviously very good early game, but again, I think that it's fine to take it out for things like Dreadbore and Dispel is pretty good as well. And the extra Stubborn Denial. These are the four cards we've brought in. Maybe we don't want the extra Dispel, we don't want too much counter magic, so we can take one out and then just take one extra card out. Which could be... Maybe we take out a Fatal Push as we brought in a Dread Bore. I don't mind doing that. We could also bring in the Spell Bombs, so it's just exile someone's graveyard, but I don't know what we take out for those. I think we're just going to stick with this. Um, we brought in one Dispel, one Stumbled Out, and one Dread Bore, and taken out two Inquisitions and a Fatal Push. This hand is very land heavy, so I think we're just going to mulligan this. I just don't see a reason to keep this. Like, There's no huge payoff for keeping this, so we're just going to mulligan. And I guess we keep this. And we definitely want that on top. So this go mag should be fairly quick to get out. We can go turn 1, fetch, shock. Fort seize, so that means two cards in our graveyard next turn. 
fetch with the Bloodstained Mire, so that's three cards. So, yeah, we should actually be able to get this um, Gomag Anger out pretty quickly, and because of the Stubborn Denials, it should be pretty good. I think we're going to get a Watery Grave first, so I'm going to use the Flooded Strand here. The reason I'm going to use the Flooded Strand is because it's just the least versatile fetch land, so if we, if we know what we're going to get first and this can get it, we might as well use that. See what our opponent is up to. I wish I could have just kept up seven to now, but I didn't see any reason to do that. Alright, so they've got two Death Shadows, a Fate of Push, a Liliana, the Last Hope, and a Snapcaster Mage. So the Fate of Push doesn't hit our Gurmag Angle, so I'm not too worried about that. Liliana, the Last Hope is a bit annoying, but we do have two Stubborn Denials. I'm actually not too worried about any of the cards in the hand. I don't think we can take the Liliana just because we have double Stubborn Denial. So uh, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so the turn that we play Gurmag Angler, if we don't draw a card next turn or we don't use one of these, then we're actually going to have to tap out to play the Gurmag Angler. So maybe we do take the Liliana. But, but we've still got double Stubborn Denial in our hand. So maybe we have to take a Death Shadow. No, we're just going to take the Liliana. I think that's like the easiest way we're going to lose. They're playing all of their lands tapped over Shocking just to like preserve life. However, I don't think that's actually correct when you have Double Death Shadow in your hand. Okay, so Tasica was a fine draw. It just means that now we can go Tasica on turn three with Stubborn in our backup because we'll have uh, three fetch lands in our graveyard and the flood is, and the uh, thought seed. So that's four, five, six, seven. So we'll have seven effective mana available and the Tasica six. So we'll have one for Stubborn in our. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna pass here. And this is what, like what I said about uh, where is it? Fatal push is not being that that powerful because oh we do not want to let's use this. Uh, sorry, seven denial this do we? Um, I actually think this is fine because if they take the Tasiga, then we can just go mag, and this will give us an extra delve, so we can still use seven denial anyway. So we're just gonna let this happen. Yeah, this is where I said, well, like, Fatal Push doesn't feel as good in this matchup, because, like, it just doesn't kill our two best, or our only two threats in our hand. And they have taken the Gurmag Angler over the Tasiga, so that suggests that they will have their own Tasiga or a Gurmag Angler, because Tasiga's just not, it's just obviously got one less power, which is pretty relevant. Uh, we don't have a Death Shadow, so I see no reason to shock so we're just gonna get uh, Blood Crypt. Yeah, we'll get Blood Crypt here. So we play the Bloodstained Mire and fetch. Think we want the Watery Grave? Yeah. Okay, so now we have Tasker in play with double stubborn denial up and ferocious is on both of them. So we now have basically just two um, counter spells or uh, counters that non yeah, so two negates basically. So they're gonna fetch. If they play their own Tasker or Gurmag or something, we can just start using our activated ability on Tasker to keep up with cards. And they know we have double, double stubborn denial here. They're just going to play their own task, sure. sure. Death Shadow is a great draw, so it's going to shock. And play our own Death Shadow. 
So we could have just not done anything and kept up the uh, activate ability on Tassiga, but this way that now we have a Death Shadow in play, we can actually start trying to do something. Serum Visions is fine, I guess. Like, we could just counter that just so they don't get the extra card and the extra two, obviously, the scrying value, but I think we just want to keep both stubborn denials. It might have been correct there to counter one, though. They've just played a Bloodstained Mire. So where did they scry to? Bottom, on top. Okay, so one top, one bottom. They're going to Fatal Push that. So we know they have a snap custom mage, fail push is gone, and they've played the blood crypt. So we know the hand is death shadow, death shadow, snappy. We're just gonna counter this. If they face, if they like, oh okay. And they're going to play their own Death Shadow, sure. So we're actually looking for something to damage ourselves, like a Thought Seize would be really nice here. Okay, sweet, that works. <laughs> we'll take the Death Shadow. So we're going to attack with our Death Shadow because they can't block it profitably. That might have been wrong because now they can attack with theirs. Yeah, that was probably wrong actually. Now we have to block. They're going to upkeep Snapcaster Mage Fatal Push. They know the card in their hand. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked without their shadow because now they're ju we've just given them the clock basically. And yeah, that's game. I think uh, I guess if they attack with yeah, they're, all they're going to do is attack with just their, their shadow because then we can't block. If they attack with everything, then we can block. Say, oh sorry, yeah, if they attack with everything, we would just block here, and then this would deal a six down a one, and then their shadow would actually go uh, up to a twelve twelve. So I guess we can see if our opponent messes up, but I think it's fairly unlikely. So as long as, if our opponent attacks with everything, then we should win, but I don't think they're going to. But we'll play it out just in case they do. But yeah, if they attack with everything, we just block their Death Shadow and then... We'll see what we draw, but I'm pretty sure that it's just game. Terminate. I guess we're not dead yet. Sure, we'll pass the turn back. Uh, I assume they're going to activate Tasker end of turn, so oh, I guess we better terminate now then. And just in case they draw like a counter spell. So they're going to end the turn, fetch. Wait, they didn't want to activate Tassiga? Okay. Now, off the top, we need like Colligan's command, so we can go like K 
kill snap, cast mage, get back dash shadow, play dash shadow to block the Tassiga. Okay, we drew that too. <laughs> sure, so uh, black, red. Oh, we could get back Tassica, but I'm pretty sure we want Death Shadow at this point. Um, yeah. What did they do with the Serum Visions? Top bottom, okay. The reason I chose to get back Death Shadow over the Tasker was because I think we would rather kill our opponent quickly than try and grind them out because they're already one card up. Whereas the Death Shadow just threatens lethal straight away. And like the Tasker, all that Tasker is going to do is just get back like discard and stuff. Um, I th what have they just done? Okay, they just fetch, sure. Alright, the uh, the biggest reason to get back the Tassiga was because Tassiga wouldn't die to Fatal Push. So if our opponent has a Fatal Push here, then we just die, whereas if we had Tassiga in play, then we wouldn't. But then we're just like a, like a, a Halt, whereas this way, if they don't have it, then we just... If they don't have a removal spell, we just start attacking and they have to block each turn. Alright, we're just going to... Go ahead and Dreadborn now, I think. I guess we don't have to. We can just attack and see what happens. But this way we are threatening lethal. So if they activate Tassica, they're just going to get back an Inquisition of Kozilek. Yeah, we're just going to attack first. I chose to do nothing. Yeah, I should have actually dreadboard that. The reason I didn't was in case they had a snap cast mage, but if they were going to do that, then they would have. Because what I was expecting them to do was flash in, like, the worst comes to us, I was thinking maybe they could flash in a snap cast mage, block, uh, use some spell in their graveyard, and then. Okay, they're just going to do it now then. Colligan's command? Oh no, they can't do that. Serum visions, sure. Yep. See what they do with their scries. They're in the tank, which is good for us because it means it's obviously not like a really powerful card. So they put a card on the bottom, the last one, and they decide on top. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to make them have something. There's loads of things they could have here, but like every creature that they could play is lethal because we're only on one life. Okay, and they just didn't have anything. So that was very surprising. Um, Obviously, I messed up when I attacked with my Death Shadow, which put theirs up to a 7-7. But luckily, uh, we drew like the perfect card for like three turns in a row. So yeah, like I was said that we needed to draw Colican's Command, and we drew it, and then we drew a Dread Boar as well. So I can't really say that like I necessarily outplayed them because I did mess up but at the same time like p if you do make a misplay I think it's more important that you actually keep trying to play and um, that just shows that even when you fuck up like I did uh, you can still win um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next round peace